Hello guys and welcome back. In today's video I will be going over Master Mel and also Captain Mel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So starting off here we have Master Mel which is what I'm going to refer to him as and I will also refer to the attributes just by their color and not their typing because I mean I have to do one or the other and it's just simple it's a lot more simple to do it by color than the typing but anyways for right now we have Master Mel who is a blue type so blue Master Mel he is the character that we all start off with when when we begin the game and let's go ahead and see what he can do so starting off of his unique skill here he has the Master of Alacrity, which increases crit chance by 30% at the start of the next turn if the hero doesn't take damage. So, it resets upon taking damage, but if he's not being targeted or attacked at all per turn, then his crit chance increases by 30% as described, which is great. But it does not sound like it stacks. I could be wrong. Perhaps it does stack, perhaps it doesn't. It doesn't sound like it, does, it stacks, but I could be wrong there. If it does stack, that is nice. So basically, you don't want him to get hit before he can do his moves because that's going to really boost up his crit chance. Crit ch chance and that's going to really uh, boost up his damage as well. Let's go over here to his skills though. So his first skill is triple attack. And at three stars, we can see that it goes to 275% of his attack. And it inflicts weak point onto an enemy now a weak point activates if there is a debuff on the enemy so if enemies debuff they're going to take three times the damage that they would from this attack regularly versus when they're debuffed meaning to be optimal with this move the enemy needs to have debuffs on it so you need to run a debuffer with him which i mean in most scenarios i find running a debuffer unless you're just farming is great to have especially in boss fights so that's very very important that you have the skill um paired with a debuffer or you're just missing out on damage the next skill though would be full counter which if this is at three stars he assumes a stance for one turn and then he'll evade the attack he won't take the blow from a regular counter like his other two moves will as we can see right here he will actually dodge the attack, which coincides nicely with his unique skill because if he hasn't taken damage in one turn, which you can actually, if you get lucky, you can activate this move, then there's a good chance that he's going to crit, which is nice because, remember, he never took damage. He actually evaded the move. And this does 400 damage of his attack. It's not the best move in the world. I mean, unless it's at three stars. Unfortunately, there is just a lot better units with a lot better counterattacks. But if used properly, I can see how this could be a decent move. Maybe not amazing, but decent. And then his third skill is his ult, which is Evil Spirit. Inflicts Sever damage equal to 560% of attack on one enemy. So Sever uh, increases his crit chance by two times. So two times his base crit chance, not counting gear or anything like that. If you pair that up with his unique where he has evaded an attack then this is pretty much guaranteed to crit. I'm not gonna say it's like 100% but you have a high probability of this getting off which is great actually absolutely great now in my opinion I mean I definitely could be wrong here but overall he's just a starting out character there's nothing really special or redeeming about him he could obviously get you through certain situations but his main downfall is of course that he's just He's just plain. He's nothing extravagant, but we all get him anyway, so there's nothing to really be sad about there because we did get him for free. And if you want to get the best out of him, then obviously you need to run him with a debuffer. If you're going to run him in PvP, then you better have a debuffer on the team because you're going to hope and pray that your AI will target someone with weak point after, after they've been debuffed. Because if you don't have a debuffer running on your team for any PvP team or anything out here in general with him, you're missing out on a lot of damage. But let's go ahead and move on to Captain Mel next. Alright, so next up is Captain Mel. He's the green type, which is also known as HP. And this is the guy that a lot of people recommend you re-rolling for over and over again just to pull him because this unit is insane. As I began the game, I thought, honestly, I was like, wow, they're overhyping this dude like... 
they act like he's all this in a bag of chips and I'm currently like on episode 72 of the story and I have borrowed a couple because I don't have one and I can say after we review these skills there's a reason why but let's go over here w with his unique first so his unique is death blow which increases crit chance by the ratio of the hero's diminished HP when using a skill so the less HP that he has the higher chance the higher probability that he's going to crit now I'm not sure if this uh, I'm pretty sure actually this would scale off percentage wise so if he's at 1% HP and he you know, yeah, if he's at 1% HP, then there's probably a 99% probability of him critting, not taking into account resist or anything from other gear and stuff like that. I could be wrong on that, but that's what it sounds like to me. Maybe there's a cap for this, but the less HP you have, the more chance for him to crit on his moves, which is disgusting because his skill over here, Hellblaze, at 3 stars, is 60, is 600% of his attack on one enemy this move already even at one stars is 240 percent and at two stars is 360 the damage on this move is already insane if you pair that up with him having low hp it's going to be even more which is already crazy just absolutely crazy his second skill though is outburst counter and we can see over here at three stars that it'll trigger once and it inflicts damage equal to 250 percent of hp diminished from max HP so if you're sitting at max HP uh, with him and say for instance you're fighting a boss like I did in the story and that boss hits like a freaking truck as long as he doesn't die the damage that he is going to counter back of course with his unique activated as well which is pretty much a guaranteed crit or a higher probability of a crit is absolutely insane especially with type advantage going on where if this was like a, a blue monster that attacked him or a blue unit holy crap this counter right here can basically solo a boss like I've seen it done myself multiple times where the damage on this as long as he's as long as he can survive is absolutely insane and then over here for his ult which does have two different forms having the correct combined hero um, it cancels buffs and stance on one enemy and inflicts 490 percent of uh, his attack on onto the enemy and then it also stuns the enemy for one turn so not only do you have damage from this move and it's honestly not as strong as his um first skill at three stars it has added stun in there so you're losing out on a little bit of damage but you also have a stun in there which is crowd control which congratulations if you're fighting like a solo person or a solo unit or a solo monster congratulations you now have another turn like it it is just crazy it is just insane this dude is like i'm not gonna say he's the best unit in the game right now but he is very very strong his skills just everything goes together everything is very very fluid am i saying that you need him to progress through the story no but i am saying you need to get a couple friends and borrow some of theirs because he definitely helps and in terms of a pvp situation obviously there's nothing wrong with bringing him in a pvp situation because as long as you're not faced off against a whole bunch of red units hopefully he can survive if there's one red unit perhaps you can bait that red unit into attacking him just to get his hp low and he can nuke other the other two units that are hopefully blue or even green but in terms of just overall uses very very useful i could see him useful in pvp at the moment but if he gets burst down before he can do a move basically there goes your damage if he doesn't get attacked or if he gets saved for last so he can be burst down in pvp then again there goes your damage because he can't get the money maker which is his counter he can't get the money maker from his unique off but if i had to choose one of these two to roll with without a doubt because we get we get the blue master mel just from the game itself but i would definitely definitely go for this guy instead and boost his ult up if you can if you pull excess mel's because i could see him being very useful for a while maybe not in terms of pvp but just as a decent unit for damage dealing 
um, as you progress through the game and hopefully more content comes out. But that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. Um, this is more of a test run. So if you guys have any input that you guys want to see in this video or what you would like for me to explain more, feel free to leave a comment below. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.